have a short life that is full of what you like doing than a long life spent in a miserable way. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, hi, my name's Helena and thanks so much for stopping by today. So if you guys weren't aware, I am a huge fan of bags. I love collecting them and I love just seeing all the different types and styles that are available on the market, which is why when Simbano reached out for me to do a review of one of their bags, I of course said yes. And that's not only because I love the bag styles that they had offered, but also because I became really invested in their mission behind the brand and I thought it'd be interesting to share with you guys. In case you aren't familiar of what Simbano actually is, they're a bag brand that wants to not only empower fashion lovers through their cute and trendy bags, but also support sustainability through through using cruelty free items as well as vegan products to make their bags so with that in mind they also want to keep their bags as reasonably priced as possible so people can still invest in high quality faux and vegan leather bags which I think is great and they were also featured in a British issue of Vogue back in I believe November 2021 which is also super cool so yeah, I'm super excited to be reviewing this bag and I just wanted to say a quick thank you to Simbano for sending this over. So first I got it in this box right here and it's super cute. It has their logo right here as well as this nice marble design. And then what I really liked is that it came with a little dust bag so you can keep your bag safely stored in here in case you want to put it away in the closet or if you're traveling you can just put it in this and keep it in your luggage so it doesn't get any scratches or all dirty as for the bag i chose i got the fiona shoulder bag and it's in the shade ivory and i put a little twilly on it because i thought it'd be cute but yeah this is their shoulder bag i personally am a huge fan of shoulder bags because i'm only five foot on a good day and i like to have smaller bags because i feel like they just fit my body frame a little bit better in comparison to larger bags which i feel just tend to swallow me up i think this is just so perfect i also love the gold hardware if you've seen my bag collection video you would already hear this a thousand times but i'm gonna say it again um gold hardware is definitely one of my favorites because as you can see, I am a warmer undertone, so I feel like gold just tends to suit me a lot better than silver does, which is why I love anything gold hardware. What I like about this bag, like I said earlier, is that it's made from vegan leather and it has this cool crocodile green texture on it which just makes the bag a lot more unique and eye-catching. And then on the inside, it has some faux suede lining, which I think is really nice. Just adds an extra premium quality to the bag and makes it look a little bit nicer. And it also helps to protect the items that are actually inside your bag as well. However, while I do love my small shoulder bags, I also want them to be practical so I can carry at least something in there because I actually do love to carry a lot of stuff on me. So I feel like this does carry a decent amount of my essentials like my wallet, hand cream, lip glosses, lip balms, maybe a hairbrush, mini perfume, stuff like that. And and I feel like it just goes in here pretty nicely without having to look super crammed on the outside. Um, I know that there's pockets on the inside. I don't really use them because I find them to be a little bit too small for my liking. But I do like to keep a sanitary pad on the back pocket just because it's small enough to fit there. So going into the pros about this bag, I feel like everything I just stated previously, such as the shape and the color and the materials made out of are all pros to me because I think it just checks off all the boxes that I want in a bag. And it also has a really cool adjustable strap as well. So in case you want a little bit more wiggle room between your arm and the bag, you can definitely adjust it to your preference. I feel like everything I stated previously regarding the shape, style, look, and even the inside are all pros in my opinion because I feel like they just check off every single box that I want in a bag. But another thing it checks off is the length of time I can use this for because I am personally someone who wants to invest in bags that will last me for long periods of time. So I think that this would be a great investment into my wardrobe. It goes well with everything. I have a lot of neutrals in my closet, so this one will definitely 
be an essential and even for different seasons i feel like this just fits in so well since again it's a neutral color you can't go wrong with ivory in the summer spring fall you name it um yeah, so I'm super excited to be using this more often and I have been using this for about two weeks now and I haven't seen any tarnishing or anything or scratches on the hardware yet so I think that's also great because obviously you want the hardware to last a little bit longer. As for the logo, it just has a simple Simbano embossed onto the bag right here and that's about it. I don't like having super out there logos on my really anything so i think that this is perfect because it just doesn't clash too much and another thing to add on about the material of the bag is that since it is vegan leather i feel like i don't have to baby it as much as i would actual leather because when it comes to leather you have to be careful about how it patinas over time and then if you get any water or just any stain on it you have to be really gentle about that but i feel like with vegan leather you can be a little bit more carefree and won't have to baby it as much so on to the cons i feel like i have to be a little bit more nitpicky about this because i feel like there's just so many more pros compared to the cons but one thing i will say is that despite the reasonable price for such a high quality bag it is still quite pricey um for me as a college student i know it's pretty hard out there for us college students to definitely try and catch it when they're having a sale because besides that it is kind of high up there and since this bag is made from vegan leather it will have a significant difference in the feel of the um, exterior of the bag so yeah that's just another thing though but i think for the material that you're investing in it's more worth it to get a vegan bag anyways and then i guess the last thing is just that the clasp is a little bit annoying to use because you have to open it up like this and then pull it up which could be kind of annoying especially when you're holding it on your shoulder trying to grab it from the side and you want to dig it for something um you have to like lift up the flap and then dig underneath but i mean that's just again me being nitpicky about the product i feel like that's pretty much it for the cons i don't have too much to say because like i said earlier it checks off all the boxes of everything i've ever wanted in a bag and actually i don't have any other cream bags besides my white Telfar, so that's like the closest thing I have to cream. And of course, I had to choose this one, but if you were interested in this bag, they also have a ton of different colors as well. So if cream wasn't your style, they have purple, green, blue, even your neutrals like brown and black, which was also a contender in this choice, but in the end, your girl had to choose this one. With that being said, that pretty much wraps up my video for today. Thank you again so much to Simbano for sending me this bag. And I'll be sure to leave down below a link to the bag as well as their website and their social medias down below so you can check them out. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, feel free to give it a like. Subscribe down below if you want to see more of my content. And I'll see you guys in my next one.